Shiny hunting in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet is very easy thanks to this new method that you and everyone you know should be using. Let's take a look at the fastest and easiest way to get guaranteed shiny Pokemon within the game. Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with another awesome tips and tricks video for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Today's video is all about the fastest and absolute guaranteed way of getting shiny Pokemon within the game. And you can do it in under 10 minutes. Yes, I've gotten a shiny Magikarp using this method and I am so excited to share it with you. So anyway, who doesn't like shiny hunting? If this video does help you out, be sure to smash that like button and share the video with all of your friends because this is the only way that you're gonna be shiny hunting through mass outbreaks in the game. All right, so other than that, we've got tons of tips and tricks tutorial videos on the channel. If you guys are curious about them, by all means, take a look at it and subscribe for even more. Let's start off with a little bit of context and teaching you the shiny odds of the mass outbreak method so that you know exactly how to increase your chances at getting a shiny Pokemon a lot easier. If you didn't already take a look at the full shiny hunting guide, it'll be linked in the description, so watch that for even more context about all the different odds involved. For a quick refresher, let's recap what the mass outbreaks are all about. If you pay attention to the overworld map, you'll see a small Pokemon icon that will signify that there's a mass outbreak of that specific species in that general area. If you haven't encountered that Pokemon before, the icon will be a question mark instead. Likewise, if that Pokemon is only available during the day or the night, they won't show up in their opposite availability, regardless of if the icon is there. Now when you walk over to a mass outbreak, you'll notice a little pop-up in the top right corner of the game that tells you that you found it. The fastest way to clear out these Pokemon is to use the Let's Go feature. So start KOing each of the Pokemon with your strong lead by pressing the R button to put them out. Now here's where things get interesting. After you've cleared 30 Pokemon from the mass outbreak, your shiny odds will boost from the base rate of 1 in 4096 to 1 in 2048. If you continue to clear out even more Pokemon and clear out 60 of them or more, your shiny odds will boost from that 1 in 2048 all the way over to 1 in 1365. This is a great way of getting shiny Pokemon. Now that you guys have the shiny charm, it's time to head on over to Mass Outbreaks. After clearing 30 Pokemon in a mass outbreak with the shiny charm, your shiny odds boost will improve from 1 in 2048 to 1 in 1024. Taking that a step further and continuing to clear out even more Pokemon in this mass outbreak, after you clear out 60 Pokemon with the shiny charm, your shiny odds boost will improve from 1 in 1365 to 1 in 819. That is super low. You can increase your shiny odds even lower with the use of sparkling sandwiches, but since those are locked behind rare endgame 5 star drops, we'll skip that for now and just deal with the shiny charm boosted mass outbreaks of 1 in 819. After you've located the mass outbreak that you're looking for, you're going to use any strong Pokemon to start KOing each of the species until you reach 60 KOs. Feel free to KO a few more of them after counting to 60, just in case you miscounted. It'll take you about 5 to 6 minutes to reach 60. Normally, you'd KO the remaining Pokemon in the outbreak with the boosted odds of 1 in 819 if you have the shiny charm, until the outbreak dissipates. But this is where you're going to save your game and bookmark your progress. The main trick here is utilizing setting up a picnic in order to reset the spawns. Since you've bookmarked your progress to a point where you've KO'd 60 plus Pokemon and you're sitting on the max odds of 1 in 819 with the shiny charm or 1 in 1365 without the shiny charm, you can simply walk around and visually see which of the 10 to 15 overworld spawns are shiny. If you don't see a shiny, all you have to do is make another picnic, then exit out of it in order to reset the spawns and take another shiny checking lap.
Obtaining a shiny Pokemon in less than 10 minutes is definitely possible, as KOing, until 60, takes about 5 minutes, and if you're lucky enough, you can use Picnic Resets to spawn a shiny Pokemon very quickly. My previous attempts with a shiny Magikarp literally took me 2 Picnic Resets, and I was done within 10 minutes. Individual results may vary, so some of you might get a shiny Pokemon with a small amount of Picnic Resets, and some of you might get a shiny Pokemon within a few dozen resets. But rest assured, if you keep on checking, Checking, this will guarantee a shiny Pokemon. From start to finish here, this took me about 20 picnic resets until I found my shiny Rufflet. Now, if the Pokemon from the mass outbreak isn't what you want to shiny hunt for, use this same method of picnic resetting after you make a sandwich that gives off a specific encounter power of the Pokemon type that you're looking for. Keep in mind that the shiny odds of a wild encounter outside of mass outbreaks is a lot less, sitting at 1 in 4096 for full odds, or 1 in 1365 if you have the shiny charm. Here's an example of me attempting to find a shiny Chansey. I made a sandwich that allows for normal encounter level 2 and I found Chansey's natural habitat. All I have to do is walk around and shiny check and then set up a picnic if I don't find the shiny and then rinse and repeat all over again. There's no need to knock out any of these with the let's go mode so all I have to do is walk around and observe. And there you have it, the fastest way of getting shiny Pokemon within Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. What did you think? Man, this is going to be game-changing simply because I honestly thought at the very beginning that Pokemon Legends Arceus was the absolute best way of getting shinies. But now all you really have to do is spend five minutes knocking out 60 Pokemon and then just picnic reset the entire time. That's so much easier. Anyway, I can't wait to fill up my entire Pokedex full of shiny Pokemon that come out with the outbreaks. And I can't wait to hear from you guys too. Did you guys use this method? If you did, which shiny Pokemon did you get from it? And how long did it take you to spawn that? Let me know in the comments and let's keep the discussion going. Other than that, I'm going to be hard at work on the next tutorial video. So if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see, also let me know. Anyway, keep it locked here for the latest and greatest Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet content, and we'll see you next time. Take care.